In this video today, we're going to be showing you my Xenia cuttings that I rooted in water. Did it work? Can you do this? Come along with me and I'll show you what happened. Stay with me as we plant these Xenias. So we got a bunch of tops cut out when I trimmed my Xenias down. I'm going to do an experiment. We're going to try to root some of these in water. So what I did was, since these have got so many leaves on them, I took and I cut the bottom part of the leaves off so they have more energy in, in to grow in some roots. Just appreciate a thumbs up on this video. It helps me grow my channel. So these are done. You can see where I cut them off. I mean, there were some nice leaves on there and we don't need all that. What we need it to do is to produce some roots. So, for instance, this one here has got one, two, three, four, starting a new set right here. I'm going to trim, just trim these back, just like that. Again, now this one, I'm going to take that all the way down. It's going to be a small little Xenia top. Some of these are going to be a little smaller than the rest, but this is going to be fun. Why throw them away, right? See, it doesn't have much of a stem. I'm not going to use that one. You get the idea, right? It's going to be grown out from up here. It also will probably produce some side shoots. Now these tend to get mushy if they sit in water, so I have to find a way to set these up so just the stems are in the water. Look how nice that one is. Some are definitely look a little better. I want to keep the ones that's got the longer stems. If they don't, I don't I'm not going to use them. The hardest part now, since they're short, might have been better to cut them a little longer is to take these the stems were longer yes it would work much better so here's what I decided to do since these stems aren't very long I'm just going to put them in this ice cube tray keep it kind of shallow because we don't want the leaves setting in water Make sure they're down in the water a little bit be now is to watch the water level. I'm going to be putting them right under my shop lights and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully it won't take real long. I'm just using regular water, tap water, and so we'll see what happens and I'll keep you updated. I went ahead and misted them every day just to keep it kind of moist in there and it just seemed to work really good after I put that dome lid on. So it didn't seem to affect um, them as far as being too much humidity. It seemed fine. It's been five days. So let's see. They look pretty good. I put them under this dome lid to keep the humidity in. I think it really helped. I doubt if anything's going on yet, but let's take a peek. It's a really strange observation. All the ones that I cut off my original plants are all curling. The stems are curling. So that's interesting. Look at that one. They are not wilted or anything so it looks like something may happen. How long is it going to take though? But look at them. Does it have something to do with cutting that bottom leaf section off? Maybe. So we'll just keep watching these and see what happens. So as I showed you, I had them just under the lights like this and they weren't liking it. They need that humidity. I had this on them like this and I set them down on my shelf. So they were covered, they kept warm, the humidity stayed in. Hey everyone, 
So how did the zinnia seedlings do, the ones that I cut off of the original plant, and I'm trying to root them? How do you think they done? We are at a week later, it is May 18th, and I cut these back on the 11th of May. So let's see how they're doing. I'm gonna go through some of these and see, and then the rest I'll have to put back. We'll see what we get. And then we're gonna plant them. Look at this. As you've known, they curled when I cut them off the original plants. Look at those roots. So these being curled, I'm not worried too much about it. I'm just going to dig a hole down in here and I'm using my peat and perlite that I purchased at the, one of the bigger box stores and I'm just going to set them right down in there just like that. So I'm going to have to go through all these. This one's just starting. So that one's going to stay. For now I'm going to set some of these aside so I can go through them all. Look at that one. Nice. They, they're kind of curled up, but I think they're going to be okay. Time will tell. I'm just going to have to kind of put them in there, down in the soil. I think in time they will straighten out as they start growing. There's another one. Now, if you ever want to trim back your zinnias, do them a little bit longer than I did. Look at this one. They're not standing up straight. They're curled, like I said. Just plant them. Just Here's another one, just starting. Wonderful. I'm going to give them a little more time. I don't necessarily like the way these look, but let's see how they do. Look at this one. ones that didn't root they're going to go back in the water here hoping I'll get just a few six packs and then the rest I'll maybe try in maybe I don't know another week I don't think it's going to take that long Let's put the rest back. I think if it may be cutting them leaves, maybe made them curl. I don't know. I've never done zinnias like this before. So it's, it's kind of cool that it worked. And it's to show you that you can do this. Don't throw away the trimmed off zinnia plants when they get leggy, if that's what you decide to do. So these are gonna go back under the light. Let's water these in good. And I'm gonna let them rest until tomorrow. But then I'll put them under lights. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? I think they're going to straighten out. And they'll start getting new growth up here. So I think it's going to be just fine. Look at these zinnias. Aren't they amazing? These are the cuttings. As you can see, these, these are the same zinnias. I cut the leaves back. Look at how nice these are. Look at this. These are the ones I did at first. Look at free plants, free zinnia plants. I hated to throw those away. And you don't have to. Here's the ones I did a little bit later. They didn't look as good when I planted them, but they're starting to come back out of it because they're growing new leaves now. And they're going to come around and they're still going to produce a zinnia plant. Outdoors where I can plant more and more. I'm going to have so much color this summer. These were planted later, but they still are going to work. So isn't that exciting that you can cut back, pinch back your zinnia plants to encourage better, more blooms, bushier plants. And then in the process, you can take those cuttings and root them in water. It was very fun to do and I'm excited to share this with you because I know you would probably benefit from this and could do this also in your home. Now, if you have your zinnia plants growing outside, you can go out there and pinch them back, grab them cuttings and root them in water if you want. 
Now, if I was going to do it again, I would take a bigger cutting because as you've seen, they kind of curled up. I don't know if that was from the cutting of them bottom leaves or just a short cutting. I don't know really what caused it, but I, you know, it's just my method might have been a little different than what you might do. So try something different and see how it works. So getting free plants is always a nice thing, right? So this is one way to do it. If you have the time, do it and let me know how it does. Just post in the comment area, give me some feedback, and let me know if this is something you're gonna try. Above, there's gonna be my Xenia playlist, more Xenia videos. Go feel free to go watch those now. I'm gonna be adding to it as the spring and summer months go on because I just love growing Xenias. And until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Bye now. If you like, you can look in the description area for all the items that I recommend and have used in my gardening videos. If you haven't subscribed to my videos, go ahead and do that right now. Hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I have new content coming on my garden channel.